Hey everybody, it is Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasure. If you're new here, welcome. I make videos all about making and saving money, mostly on eBay and Etsy. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about selling postcards. Now, I know there have been a number of videos done. At the end, I'm going to share a few other videos and resources where you can find out more information about selling postcards. Um, I have sold some postcards, mostly on Etsy, um, because that's where I started selling. And I wanted to share that with you right now, because there are some really um, good postcards, I keep saying um for some reason, uh, it can be lucrative. And now looking back, I probably could have gotten more for some of these postcards that I sold, um, but here are some I just wanted to show you as an example. These are from my solds on Etsy, and these are some that I got at a garage sale. I got a big pack of Italian postcards at a garage sale for $10. So I lotted a few up, and you know put a couple together and now looking back I'm like oh I probably should have sold these individually and could have gotten more um, but these were two postcards that I sold for twelve dollars <throat> pardon me um, these were four Italian postcards that sold for again twelve ninety nine and now again looking back I'm thinking oh I, I could have broken some of these up now you know you know you learn more you, you find out what sells better Again, I sold these eight um, postcards for $24.99. And obviously early on in my selling, because some of them are a little bit fuzzy. <laughs> but just wanted to give you an idea. Um, the reason I'm saying that some of these probably could have sold for more is that they are street scenes, you know, not necessarily like a picture of the Colosseum or something like that, that there would be a billion postcards printed but more specific small towns or villages and street scenes from different villages that may or may not still be um, in existence. So again, here are a few more uh, that sold for $15. But once again, I bought a whole pack of them for $10. And I still have some more that haven't sold yet. So here were five that sold for $15. And these all sold relatively quickly. I lotted together these because they were all nighttime scenes. Um, or, you know, that dark, it seemed like nighttime scenes anyway. And again, a few more. These are all Italian ones. Um, and I have learned a bit more about selling postcards since, um, since then. And I've learned a lot more, like there are some that are worth more, maybe say um, real photo postcards, or you might see them listed as R, P, P, C, um, and then also some are printed on linen. And um, again, I'm going to link some resources at the end that can go over more of that, what's more desirable. But I wanted to share with you guys a big, I got a big lot at a, a charity store yesterday. So I wanted to share with you the amount that I got. And they were all 30% off. So I've got quite a bit of work to do. Um, and instead of sitting and picking through all of them in the thrift store, because they were 30% off and and everything, I went ahead and just got them because it would end up averaging out to being less than a quarter each. Uh, so I just wanted to share with you some of the ones that I got. And I may come through later um, and talk to you about, like, just do a slideshow and show each postcard just for fun. Um, but there are lots of different ones. Some of them are London, like this is London by night. Uh, that's Trafalgar Square, which may or may not do well because it is a really popular area. Um, but then, like, say, here's another one that's Oxford Street in London. It's got the double-decker buses and all that. Some of these are it's, um, German. So there are some that are German. And then there are some, luckily, let me share with you real quick. There are some that they, hang on. Whoever these were had them already sorted. So here's a, a pack that is Florida. So um, again, this this whole bunch right here, there's a bunch in there, was two dollars for all of that. So and there's probably at least ten in there. So I can go through and pick out the ones that I think will sell best individually, and then nicely they've got them lotted up for me already. Some of them, you know, so Florida ones. So things that you might look for are. Um, Places that maybe no longer exist, say places that are ghost towns now or places that historically have changed. Um, so I was kind of excited when I saw the, all the German ones because um, I was, again, I didn't want to pick through them there, but if they were pre, you know, East, West Germany and pre the, 
the fall of the wall and all that, there might be some of historical value in there. Um, and then there are some subject matters that people collect, such as like trains or ships or sometimes the ones that are a bit macabre or Halloween um, themed can go for good money. So, oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm live, so if you're watching this later, I'm talking to the live chat over on the side. So, uh, I'm just going to kind of show some of the postcards that I picked up. And then I think later, I know my slideshow type videos are not the best received, but they're so fun and pretty and vintage that I, I really want to share some of them with you guys. So here's one that's like on the docks. Now, you'll see that some of them are quite a bit older. So here's some. These are from Dorset. I'm going to open this one up. So... Hang on, they have tape. I want to make sure I get that tape off so I don't get it on the postcard. Um, so I have to go through and decide, you know, are they real photo postcards? One way to tell is they'll, it'll say on the back, you know, that it's a photo company that has printed it. Sometimes you can get a loop and look down real close and see if it looks like it's got like the dots, like it's been printed or that if it's been a, a photograph done. So there's this, which, you know, could go, again, I just have to research them. Um, because, as you saw, some of them can go for 15, 20, 30. Now, I did a, a, a search on eBay and just searched vintage postcards and did highest to lowest. And you'll see some of, I mean, there are some postcards that can sell in the hundreds of dollars, depending on uh, subject matter. Yet yeah, they still can sell if they have writing on the back. Some people actually look for that and they want that, that um, postmark on there. So that's a good way um, to when you're doing your listing, if it's got a postmark on the back, you'll put the years that, that it was postmarked. Sometimes people are looking for some of the stamps that they have on there. So like this one, I don't know, I've, I've never been to Dorset, but you know, this town may have changed. This may be something that someone remembers from growing up and oh my gosh, remember when it used to look like this. So that's definitely something, here's some other ones that maybe I, if, if, if I don't, um, see that they would sell individually, then this would be a good lot to put together. But I mean, with the way the world is and whether or not you believe in climate change, you know, there's the shape of the island may not even, or is this an island or a peninsula? Pardon me. Anyway, it may not even be the same shape anymore because this is, let's see. It doesn't say what date it is on this one, but I could probably look this up. Um, but then you would want to put, when I'm listing this, let's say I decide to list this one, it doesn't look like it would be really interesting to sell by itself, but I, I'm not gonna discount it because like I say, the island may not even look, or I don't think that's an island, but it may not even look like that anymore. So it'd be worth finding out. Um, but I would wanna put on there all the words that are on the front when I list it. I would wanna make sure I put, you know, who created the postcard. I would need to decide if it was a photograph, now, a real photograph postcard, like a, where it's a, a photograph printed on postcard paper, or if it's not that, then you can still say it's a photographic postcard, just not a real photo postcard. So um, I would wanna make sure I put that on there as well. And then if it had a postmark, I would make sure that I put the date um, on the, that was on the postmark stamp. So those are some, I've got some more that are pretty old that I'll show you. Hang on. So like this one, <laughs> there's probably like, these are probably a dime a dozen, you know, with Big Ben on them. But then on the back, hang on, again, I see some questions popping and I'll, I'll get to the questions in, in a second. Um, Wilton Magnolia says, the one with jagged edges come out of booklets. I don't know. I'll have to find out about that. So here's, you know, this one. Uh-oh, you have it sideways. I would have to do a little research because this looks like maybe, is this a county? Newton Woods from Wyndham Hill, Yeovil. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but it's got all different areas here. Aha, uh -huh. there, this one says, this is a real photograph. <laughs> so this one I could um, list as a RPPC, real photograph postcard, RPPC in the title for that one. So that's helpful. Does this one say it too? Because sometimes they'll say, you know, like a the company will say. Okay, so there's those ones. And 
again, I was trying to, you know, sort them together. Another one like this one might be of interest. I mean, it sounds silly, but because of the cars in it, you know, that age it. I know, hang on. <laughs> I didn't open them all up because there is a lot, but I want to make sure I fold that tape over so the tape doesn't grab onto the postcard and, and damage it. So, like here, this one's got these cars. As you can see, what are those? What year would you say those cars were? 20s or 30s? But this postcard seems like it would not be that old. Um, it, I don't know. Anyway, but somebody may be interested if I found out like what kind of cars those were. Those could be of interest. I don't know. And I mean, here's one that's just Dover. So I don't know that that one would def definitely necessarily go for a lot because it's just the cliffs of Dover. And there's probably a bazillion ones. 40s. Thank you, Bessie. I obviously don't know my cars. Um, so here, you know, this one might be one worth looking at because does this boardwalk look like this anymore? You know, somebody might want this, you know, it's got the Dover cliffs in the background, but this boardwalk might look, you know, significantly different today. So, um, so here are some of the different German ones. Again, I'm not going to show all of them. I just wanted to kind of, and then there are some that I'm going to have to do a little more research on because there's some that have foliage, which you would think maybe wouldn't sell so well, but then there are people that collect, you know, so it'd be worth me finding out because this one has got tropical foliage um, and it's got some orchids down there. There might be someone who, who likes this. Now, surprisingly, when I saw these, I thought these were going to be from Hawaii because they have lots of travel ones here, but these ones are not, <laughs> you know, these must be from a hot house or something. And I've got to do a little Google translate because I believe this is German, I believe. Papas de Schwaben, uh, maybe. Because I know there are some that are Swiss, I think, also in here. <laughs> so um, there's those. Now, there are some in here that I, I'm questioning because they are a bit, hang on, I'll get your opinion. Let me find them real fast. Um, and, and I'm going to come through, and I may have to do a couple of videos um, just sharing, like I may go through all of the international ones and just do a slideshow and then go through all the Florida ones and just show, um, just for fun, you know, and that way if people have any input, you guys can throw it out there for me. Again, this is another one I need to look up. It's got postcards from the Olympic Park in Munich. I believe that's from Munich. I could be totally wrong. Here's one with a trolley or the, tr not trolley. Is that a trolley? That's a trolley. Yeah. So it depends. Like that might, that might be something because it's got that mode of transportation. There are people that tra that collect all kinds of transportation ones. Where's the one I was going to show you? Um, again, here's another one, Germany, that's got all these cards and stuff. I didn't pay a dollar for one postcard, y'all. There's multiple postcards in there, and then they were 30% off. So, Okay, so let me get to the ones that I was like, what do you guys think of this? <laughs> okay, there's some really cool ones. I, I, they're just so much fun to look at too. I'm gonna I'm gonna get in the chat in one second. I saw some other questions popping in. Um, this one looks really cool. I was having fun looking at this one, you know. And this is like Berlin. It's a nice place to visit or something like that. And it's got a moon and a rocket and all this stuff. So I'll have to go um, check that out. Okay, here's a bunch of other ones. This is not the questionable ones yet. These ones, <clears throat> I have a whole stack of these. They're called souvenir books souvenir postcard books or souvenir picture books. And <clears throat> again, on these ones, some of them can, can be worth money and others are a dime a dozen. So this is what it looks like. It's like a little envelope. So visit Ruby Falls, you know, Chattanooga, Tennessee. And then when it opens up, so this would be what you would mail to your loved ones or keep. But then when you open up, it's got all of the pictures that, that fold out. These are not postcards inside of this. There's pictures on both sides. So there's that. That looks like cave formations. Yeah, okay. And waterfalls maybe? Okay. So these ones I'm going to have to do a little bit of looking up because some of them are like Niagara Falls. I did look up that one. I was like, oh, cool, Niagara Falls. And then I was like, oh, it's, uh, you know, there's a bunch of them. So I think condition would have to do with it too. They, they're so pretty to look at. I love the artwork. So that, I mean, there's that too. Just loving the artwork on them is just awesome. Um, yeah. So Nashville. 
But I'll go through and I'll make, like I'll probably do a video with just these ones, just because I think they're so pretty. And that way I have a, after I sell them, I still have some record of how cool they were. So here's one that's a Notre Dame, Montreal, Canada. I mean, that's another one that I thought was pretty cool. And I did look this one up and I think I only saw one of this one out there. Um, there's a lot of Canadian postcards too in here. <laughs> I see you from Canada. So, okay. Natural Bridge, Virginia. Okay, anyway, I'm not gonna go through. I wanna get, because I have some really older ones that I separated out to share with you guys. And let's see, these are, oh, here's one from Chinatown, San Francisco. Chinatown. So, okay, more and more and more of those. Okay, so, again, I have different ones separated out. These are from Utah. They have a big pack full of just florals. Oh my gosh, my pile's gonna flop over on me. Hang on. Here's one that's just all fall foliage. And it's just three bucks. I paid two dollars because it was 30% off, but then there's like a bunch of them in there. So okay. Now, here are some that are older. As you can see, you know, like here's this. Uh, again, I don't know that this is going to be a it depends on the place. Is the place still in existence? Because otherwise it just looks like a bunch of trees. But no, it's, oh, this one's a, a one of the Mexican ones. So this one has got, can you see the volcano in the back? So never mind. This one might actually do pretty well because it's got a volcano in it. So we'll see. I'll have to look it up. See, there's a volcano back there puffing some smoke. Poof, poof. Unless that's the mark. Nope, never mind. It's not puffing smoke. That's from the postage or when it went through the machine. <laughs> just lined up right so when I list this I definitely want to make sure that I put all of those condition type things in there so there's that and, it, and I'll put down there what it says on the bottom with the volcano and all that um, okay but tell me what you think about these I've never seen any like this I think these are images from a museum oh it is from a museum like you know how they would do dioramas in a museum to show like different places in the world these are German I believe Linden Museum Stuttgart but some of them are a bit I don't know stereotypical ethnic I'm not sure so I mean this looks like it's a diorama of what does it say residents of the grasslands in Cameroon I'm trying to read it in, in what I think is German you know, people people that live in there and these grass huts and stuff. Okay, and then there's this one. These are the Eskimos. So here, I, I don't know what kind of value these would have. I have to look them up. Again, these are from this museum, which, and I think this is just like a diorama. Oops. So I'm gonna have to find out a little bit more. These ones were ones that I was like, uh, okay. So there are these characters. And these say, oh, these are from Australia. So I guess maybe these are the Aborigines from Australia. Yeah, yeah, they're odd, but I'm just, these were probably ones that I would try to sell by themselves. But in this day, like, you don't know, like, uh, personally, I don't know what, <laughs> what is going to be socially acceptable and what is not. I, I don't want to offend anybody, but I mean, like, I don't know. So I just have to find out. Um, and then the, there are ones that have like the white frames around them. I'm trying to find, hang on. You know, like here's the Chrysler building, which again, I don't know that it's gonna, I'll have to look it up. It may be okay because of the year or the date stamp or something like that, but I'm guessing there's a bunch of Chrysler building ones out there. But this one, I don't know if that's gonna make a difference. I haven't done any that have to do with army you know, passed by army examiner, base so-and-so. I mean, that could be collectible right there. I, I, that part I haven't gotten really deeply into looking, um, looking into, but it does say what army base it came from, so that could be a, a collectability flag factor. Okay, so that's basically, I mean, I've got a ton more, which I'll come through and just share, like I'll do Canada and Here's these postcards, and then I'll do another one, and I'll put music in it to annoy everybody, uh, <laughs> or whatever. Just turn it down if you don't like the music. Okay, I'm gonna look through the chat, and then I'll share a couple of um, resources with you guys. Oh, hi, there's lots of chat. <laughs> um, 
where's the best place to find them? Rita says, I, you know what? I don't find them very often, which is probably why I bought them all because um, I found them at garage sales. That's where I found the Italian ones. And this is the first time I've seen a bunch of vintage postcards since then. So you could look, I would think at estate sales, um, garage sales. And this just happened to be like at a cherry charity shop um, that had them. And he was surprised that I bought them all. So and you get totally full of history. How do I ship them? I don't do free shipping. Also, you know, and on the different resources that I'm going to share, some people share just sending them through the normal mail. Um, and what I've seen is that some people that are really big postcard sellers have a separate account where they sell their postcards. Not all of them, but some of the res some of the people have given that advice because they want to send their postcard just normal mail with a stamp on it put some bits of cardboard in there and send it. But the problem with that is on eBay is that you won't have that tracking number. So I send mine. Oh, I meant to grab one. I have these little bubble mailers, you know, where I can slip in a piece of cardboard into the little bubble mailers where they just fit right in and they're snug. Um, and I send them first class like three ounces. So it's a couple bucks, but I'd rather do that, get the tracking and make sure everything's going to be, on the up and up. Um, that's what I do, but everybody's got their own method of how they do it. So you'll see. Um, oh, have you? Okay. Cool. Kelly says she's got a lot from tra her grandmother traveling all over. And I, yeah, I have a bunch of slides in, from my grandmother's travels, which we still haven't gone through, but I'm excited to do that. Um, hi to my tribe. Hello. Um, beach one of the cars. You bought a ton at an estate sale, Paula said. You have a super cool Elvis postcard. Cool. You know, and, and I have another lot, right? My store's on vacation right now, but I have a lot that when I reactivate it, I'm thinking about looking at, at them again and, and breaking that apart because it's more of the Italian ones. Now looking back, I'm like, ooh, you know, maybe I think I, at the time I was so new with it, I was like, that's it. I'm just going to put them all together. Um, but I think I might look at them again. And yeah. But I would think, you know, if you find them for cheap enough, you know, a quarter or so or less, because probably averaged out, these are going to end up being a quarter or less a piece. Um, now, I won't list like the least amount of money it has to be worth is at least seven ninety nine, eight bucks. Um, if it's going to drop below that, personally, I don't find it worth the time. But there are lots of sellers that do. I will probably lot them up if they're not that amount or more. Just personally. Um, do, do, do. Yeah, yeah, Nellie was mentioning the shipping. Um, so I would do, I, I know that it might deter some people because they don't want to pay more because it's just a postcard, but you know, I'd rather have the, the tracking and all this stuff. So, um, okay, so I'm going to share some information and some other channels where where you can find good information. <laughs> okay, so when I did sur searching, you know, selling postcards online, who pops up first is my good friend, Nick Hills. So Nick has got an amazing video selling postcards on eBay, so definitely check him out. Um, and I've linked these down below as well. So selling postcards on eBay, Nick Hills. And then there was this one um, that actually has quite a bit of good information it's this Denver Brass Armadillo, and this fella is talking about not only um, the different types of postcards, but how to identify, you know, whether it's a photographic postcard um, and, and what kind of things might be desirable, what kind of things that you need to add in your listings. So it's a long video, but he does give a lot of really good information. So that might be something to check out. And then this is a channel called Popeye's Postcards, where he focuses a lot on postcards. So he gives a lot of really good information on that. So if you're wanting to get more into postcards, go over there and follow him. I don't know him personally. So, you know, but postcards, <laughs> we're looking into that, right? So those are some people that you might um, go and talk to. Rihanna, what happened to the, <laughs> I, I have a part two to that video coming out soon. Rihanna, Re I always feel like I'm saying your name wrong. My apologies. Okay. So if you have enjoyed this video, go down there and leave a comment. Just say, hey, or hey, I'd love to sell postcards, or tell me a story about a postcard you found or sold. And if you are really enjoying this video and you think somebody else would as well, please share and encourage your friends to come over and subscribe and follow. And we will 
talk to you. When I say we, it's me, whatever. Um, I will talk to you guys later. I have another video coming out. Not too long with uh, part two of my ride along. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Have a good day.